All right, in this episode, we're talking about the DJI Osmo. Now we have another video that goes way more in depth into this. So check out that video if you want, but this is just a quick overview of the DJI Osmo. All right, so what do we use the DJI Osmo for? We use this mainly for B-roll shots. So stuff that we can splice over, you know, a main interview or the main audio coming from a talk or something like that, that's what we use it for. Now we do a variety of shots with this. We do crane style shots, you know, mimicking a crane vertically. We do a lot of gimbal style shots where you're kind of just slowly moving around a subject or something like that. Um, you know, any shots to add a little bit of dynamic movement too, that's what we use this for. It's a really simple setup. All we do is we pair this with our smartphones and we just go shoot, that's all we need. We bring the camera on our smartphone and we're good to go. Occasionally, because of our smartphones running out of batteries using this thing, we do bring an external charger for our phones, but that's pretty much it. All right, so what's great about the Osmo? Well, the main reason you would buy the Osmo, hopefully, is for stabilized shots. And yes, it does that very well. Now, typically when we use shots from the Osmo, we're using, you know, four to five second clips that we can put into a video. And definitely for those four to five seconds or so, you can definitely get some great, great shots. There are a couple other things that you have to deal with, which I'll mention a little bit later. Now, the images that you get with this are actually really, really nice, really crisp images. You know, it's a 4K camera, it can do 4K images. Now, you don't have a lot of control when it comes to depth of field. You're generally talking about, you know, full depth of field shots because, you know, you don't have a lot of control over that. But, you know, if you're going for that kind of shot, for sure, you get some really nice shots. The other great thing about this is it's super small and compact. I mean, you pretty much need this and your smartphone and you're good to go. So, I, you know, I picture if I were ever traveling or I need to do a remote shot and I can't bring a lot of gear with me, you can just bring this and you can get some great motion shots, great, great tracking shots. You can get some even like fake slider shots with this thing. So the fact that it's this small, you know, it's really, really good. And the fact that it comes with its own case is very, very nice as well. And then the last thing that I'll mention is that the DJI app that you use to control the Osmo is actually a really, really nice app. Very intuitive, great controls, very easy to use. I really, really like that. All right, some minuses for the Osmo. The first one and the major one that I have to mention is the bobbing motion. Image stabilization and all these gimbals don't solve all your problems. You still have to act as a good camera operator. And if you just hold the Osmo and you walk, you're definitely gonna get this kind of bobbing motion. Yes, you can buy an additional accessory called the Z-axis, but without that, you definitely have this bobbing motion and it's very noticeable. Now. The reality is, again, if you're cutting B-roll shots together and you're only using four or five second clips, you might not notice it as much. But if you're doing longer shots that are like, you know, 10 to 20 seconds or maybe even longer, for sure you're gonna notice this weird swaying motion. It happens with all motorized gimbals and that is a reality with this one. One thing that we didn't mention in our original review of the Osmo is the audio. And the audio is terrible. I rarely use that word and even onboard mics on DSLRs and stuff like that, they're pretty bad but they're not as bad as the audio on the Osmo. The audio is super tinny, and you can hear the beeps and all the wind and all the stuff like that. <laughs> they even released a little free add-on that you can buy, but I heard that's just as bad. Don't anticipate using the audio on this camera at all. We use it purely for B-roll. We do not use the audio on this camera at all. Okay, and then the last thing I'll mention, which is not great, is the whole dealing with connecting to your Wi-Fi and dealing with a smartphone app. What do I mean by that? Well, first, a lot of times, maybe you'll be shooting in a place where your phone has Wi-Fi connection to another router. Well, it may connect to that and not connect to your Osmo when you're getting set up, and that takes some time to get set up, which is not great. The other factor is you're on your phone, so if you're getting notifications that are coming in while you're filming, that can happen. Your phone can run out of batteries. What's worse is that sometimes you have to sign into the DJI app, and if you're not signed in already and maybe you don't have the Wi-Fi connection, then you have to connect your, there's all these little kind of finicky things when you're dealing with something that's on your smartphone. Just a couple other things that we want to mention. The DJI Osmo does come in a lot of flavors. There's the original DJI Osmo. Then there's the Osmo Plus, which has a zoom lens. There's the Osmo R, I think it's called, which is the Osmo with a raw camera on it. There is the Osmo Mobile, which you put your phone in the gimbal. Um, so there's a lot of different flavors of the Osmo. And on top of that, Kind of sitting in between their big Ronin and the Osmo, you have the DJI Ronin S. So this is like a handheld gimbal where you can put DSLRs on it. And you know, that's something you might want to consider as well if you're considering buying this. 
All right, so that's it. That's the DJI Osmo. Again, check out our full review. This thing is a $700 Canadian product and you get a lot of bang for your buck. We use it for a lot of B-roll. We bring it on all our shoots. It's a really great little camera to have. People always ask us about it. Hey, what is that you have in your hand? We get a lot of questions about it. So if you guys have any questions about the Osmo or how we use it, leave them in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We're gonna be talking about a lot of our gear in the future. All right, that's it guys. We'll see you in the next one. Chilling